If you tried everything and you can't seem to fix your jump shot, a last resort I would recommend would be to switch to shooting with your non-dominant hand. So if you naturally shoot with your right hand, you would switch to shooting with your left hand and vice versa. I know this sounds absurd, but before you click off this video, let me explain how this could help you. If you've been playing basketball for a long time, chances are your shot form is already deeply ingrained into muscle memory, which makes it hard to change. As kids, we often develop poor shot mechanics for two reasons. One, to compensate for a lack of strength, or two, we were never taught the proper way to shoot. Since we develop poor techniques that become ingrained in our muscle memory over time, it becomes difficult to change your jump shot since your body is so inclined to shoot a certain way. By switching to your opposite hand, you can effectively coach yourself how to shoot again with proper technique, and you will have the strength necessary to shoot with correct form. Because you haven't practiced with your opposite hand, your potential for shooting is much higher since you can develop those solid fundamentals for shooting and use them to become an elite shooter. Shooting with your opposite hand can sound intimidating at first, but it really isn't that bad. You can actually go outside to test this for yourself. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but you'll be surprised to find that after a few shots, your body will start to adjust and get the hang of it. It's also pretty common to see players shooting with their non-dominant hand. Luke Kennard of the LA Clippers is naturally right-handed, but shoots better left-handed. Many players can shoot with their opposite hand with ease, so don't be afraid to try this, it's actually easier than you think. The major and obvious disadvantage is that you will be worse at shooting with your non-dominant hand in the beginning. Because you're essentially teaching yourself how to shoot again, your shot is going to be broke as you start out. Honestly, it's a big time commitment to relearn how to shoot, so if you're busy, this might not be the best approach for you. For the majority of hoopers, I would honestly recommend trying to fix your jump shot first, then trying your opposite hand. Even players with quote-unquote ugly shots can be elite shooters with enough practice. So who exactly should try this? Well, if you fit the majority of these characteristics, you should give this a shot. Number 1. You tried everything and you can't fix your form. Maybe you've watched countless YouTube videos, your coach can't fix your form, or your form is just really broke. However, it's important to try to fix your dominant hand first. Shooting with your non-dominant hand should always be your last resort. Number 2. You have a good amount of free time. Maybe you're in the off-season and you can invest time in practicing with your non-dominant hand. If you're really busy, I don't think you should do this. Number 3. You have a solid understanding of the fundamentals of basketball. It's important to understand good shot mechanics since you're essentially going to teach yourself how to shoot. Number 4. You're older. Individuals who finish puberty will most likely have the proper strength to shoot with their opposite hand. To start off shooting with your non-dominant hand, I would start off with form shots very close to the rim to perfect your technique. You want to develop solid fundamentals since you are essentially creating a new jump shot for yourself. I would recommend recording yourself frequently shooting and making adjustments as you go along. Once your form is set, it's absolutely critical that you practice each shot with game speed. Remember that shooting in game is much more difficult and faster than shooting by yourself, so it's vital that you practice as you would play in game. Ultimately, the quality of practice should be your top priority than the quantity. Once you can shoot three-pointers with ease, you can start incorporating dribbling into your practice and practice your shot with some 1v1 action. If you want more specific tips and routines, let me know in the comments and I can make a video about that. You can also send me an email on my website link below and I'll gladly create a routine for you. The number one piece of advice that I can give is that you need to be patient. You have to understand that you won't be able to shoot with your non-dominant hand overnight. There are going to be times when you want to give up, but you have to ultimately put your ego aside and remember why you're doing this in the first place. Remember, even a 1% improvement every day for one year will lead you to be 37 times better than when you started. As for how long you should expect to see results, I would say after a few months, you'll start getting the hang of shooting with your opposite hand. However. To become an elite shooter in game, it will take a few years to master your jump shot. Ultimately, it all comes down to how much you've practiced and the amount of effective reps you put in. If you made it to this point of the video, I sincerely appreciate your support and I hope you guys find this video helpful. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or video suggestions and I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.